Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk here, the website dedicated to money and mental health. Uh, I've just taken a break from doing some listing to uh, give you an update on last week's um, eBay sales. I've just picked out a, uh, a few of my sales just to give you an indication of sort of what I've been picking up, how much I've paid for it, how much I've sold it for, kind of profit I've made on it as well. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, welcome. I've had some new uh, subscribers recently, so so thanks for signing up. Uh, I sell stuff on eBay part time, and I also run the Money Mental website, which sort of has a, a, a documented sort of record of my journey through selling stuff on eBay and a bit of stuff around mental health as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, hopefully you'll enjoy this video, and uh, we'll get straight into the sales. So first item I wanted to bring up was this Harry Potter Hogwarts Express um, money box. Um, I've actually sold two of these last week. I picked these up for £3 each in the Primark sale. And I've sold two so far for £12.99, including shipping. Uh, one left still to sell. So yeah, £3 into £13. Uh, you take off the shipping costs and the fees. Still a good sort of £6, £7 profit on there. Uh, so yeah, pleased to see those go, and uh, a good piece of uh, retail arbitrage for me. Next we've got this Early Learning Centre uh, puppet theatre, um, with puppets as well. Um, picked this up on an eBay uh, auction, cost 99p, uh, it was a local collection sort of pickup. I uh, had no idea really how to price this, um, because... Uh, there were no other ones that had sold on eBay, etc. So I put it up for £20 plus £5 uh, shipping. And uh, it didn't sell on its first sort of cycle, but it sold, that, which, I, which I thought it would do, because I thought it would be a good gift for Christmas. But then somebody messaged me um, on its second cycle to say, can they um, make an offer of £10 for it? So I said, yeah, £10 with £5 shipping on top. I'm happy to take that. So I accepted the offer. Um, and so yeah it was one pound into 15 pound including shipping uh the cost of shipping was about three pounds um because i used my hermes printing store service which is a great service if you're not used it you can ship anything up to five kilograms for the bargain price of two pound 95 uh, and, it, and it's a sort of printing store thing so you've got to look to see um on my hermes website where your closest printing store place is but when you go in there you just type in the buyer's address type in your address put your email address in and then put your card in your credit card debit card whatever and you can print off a label i always go for the two to five kilogram sa uh, labels because they are they give me the biggest sort of size and weight so i don't need to worry about anything of that like that and it's the same price as just a, a normal two kilogram thing so worth doing if you don't do that already um certainly cheaper than using shuttle or parcels to go i find so yeah anyway uh, accepted offer of ten pound on this plus five pound shipping. Uh, after fees and everything were uh, knocked off, it was just just under ten pounds profit on it. So I'm I'm pleased with that return. Next, another piece of retail arbitrage. It's this uh, Kane zombie figure. Picked it up in Home Bargains for four ninety nine. Sold it. Took an offer on this one um, because I needed to raise funds. So I sold it for fourteen pounds, including shipping. So it gave me about a £4 profit in the end. I could have held on a bit to it a bit longer, got an extra couple of pounds maybe. But to be honest, I was just happy to free up the funds so I could invest those into some other products. Uh, next, we've got a really good pickup here. Um, a Snoop a Speed Camera. Uh, picked this up at the car boot sale. Cost me £7.50. Uh, and uh, I sold this within a couple of days of the... Uh, of the listing going live sold it on offer for 40 pounds including shipping um and i actually sold them um, alongside it i'll just see if i can pull it up a range extender um for 34.99 um which which i sold for 27 pounds so i sold this and this for a total of 67 pounds uh they cost me 15 pounds together so seven pound 50 each so £167, it's the same buyer, so we could combine shipping 
um, for some reason I just sent it as a normal my Hermes and the two kilogram thing via shuttle uh, I normally when it's that sort of value attached to an item send it via UPS and pay a bit more because I feel that they um, uh, sort of treat the parcels better um, but anyway I reached the buyer intact um, and it cost me 278 didn't pay for any enhanced protection as well which I normally do so I, I was just very tired when I did that but yeah 67 pounds minus the cost of the shipping postage etc we're still looking at nearly sort of 40 pounds probably about 36 37 pound profit and all across these two so really pleased with that really good sale definitely worth looking out for these um sort of snooper or speed camera sort of alert systems um, because they do go for a good really good money so definitely a uh, bolo there um, also worth mentioning that i actually put in the listing that i had another one for sale the the extender um and i put in i think the listing for the extender that i have a snooper net neo for sale as well um which is why they both went to the uh, the same buyer because he'd obviously seen that when he was looking through the listings uh, next, um, just a uh, standard Airfix Spitfire kit. Um, I, I I found this in my house. I had no idea how much I paid for it. I was I, I don't pay any more than two pounds though for these kits. Um, so I'm assuming it's two pounds, probably from a car boot or maybe a charity shop, but more than likely probably a car boot for this one. Um, I'll try and get it for a pound if I can, but quite often I, I end up having to pay two sometimes I'll pay two pound fifty if um, sales have been slow and I'm just looking to get some new ones because they do sell consistently well for me but yeah sold this for 9.99 um, free shipping uh, went for my Hermes 278 um, shipping so with the additional sort of packaging around it I, I always treat that as about three pounds plus two pound cost take off your ebay fees it's probably just over three pound profit maybe three pound fifty but like i said these things do tend to sell quite quickly so if you can get them for a pound or two uh sealed not being used then you will make uh, you will make uh, you will at least double your money on them uh, next uh, another really good uh, pickup it's this playmobil um super four pirates gunpowder island hidden fort this was brand new and sealed uh, picked it up from a christmas fair sort of tabletop style thing that took place in december um, it cost me nine pounds and i sold it for 28 pounds including shipping as i took an offer on it uh, really pleased to to sell that uh, profit was sort of nearly 20 pounds on it so really good return um, so yeah certainly if you can get playing wheel sets and you can get them cheap you will sell them and you will make money um and there's always plenty of stock images that you can use as well that are knocking around so um worth looking out for this i've included this um just purely because this was something that came uh completely free i picked up a game in um uh, um i think it was in british heart foundation they were doing um free games for a pound um, so I picked up a copy of Toka 2 which I think I've already sold and included in possibly in the sales video and um, took it home and normally I always check the games to make sure they got the manual and the disc included in them but for some reason I, I didn't check this one properly got it home opened up the the game case and saw oh dear the wrong games in there pulled out the game and fortunately the proper game was in there as well so this was just an added freebie that I picked up um, so I just listed it as disc only I put it up for 199 plus £1.50 shipping because it costs about 80p to send this through model mail um, I tend to put these in a protected DVD case as well I got uh, hundreds of DVD cases that are empty that I picked up for free that I just used to ship discs in because the weight is still under 100 grams so it still goes to 79p and it just protects the case protects the disc while it's in transit um yeah i charged one pound fifty shipping on it i put this up um i was running a 10 percent off sale in january so probably had this one listed for just over two weeks um because that's when the sale kicked in and uh it sold for 179 plus one pound fifty postage so it was a cut once fees are taken off and everything it was a you know it was nearly 
there's one pound fifty, nearly two pound profit on something I picked that I got for free. So really pleased with that. Uh, so yeah, even if you if you have got just this knocking around without the cases etc uh, on the manuals, you can still sell them as well. So and it's a sports title, which everyone tells me doesn't sell, but they do. Uh, next, what have we got here? Oh yeah. I picked up a Monopoly Empire board game at car boot sale for two pounds. Said I wouldn't negotiate on it at all. Um, she said it was complete. I took it home. Um, I didn't really check it properly at the time. Um, there were a lot of buyers, etc., around, so I was swamping this seller. So, you know, I just wanted to grab it and get out of there. But yeah, I paid two pound for it. That for the box, um, it wasn't complete. It was missing. Um, missing the instructions uh, and it was missing various other things like hotels and whatever but I had a look on uh, eBay and I could see there was still a, a spares market um, so I've sort of parted it out and put various bits of it up for sale as spares um, this is the first thing that I put up for sale as spares and it's sold um, within a couple of days and it's the sort of the pieces and the dice or in their little packaging tray as well. Um, I listed it for £9.99 including shipping and it sold for that. So I've got a couple of other bits and pieces that are still listed that, that, that haven't sold yet. But I've already made my money back on the board game and I'm in profit just from this sale alone. This went large letter, I think it cost 80p. So we're talking, you know, £3 into 10. Take off your eBay fees. I've still got about four or five pounds profit here so I'm really pleased to do that so definitely worth having a look at the spares market on eBay if you pick up a board game it's not complete because it's, as long as you paid a cheap enough price you should still be able to get some money back by selling the parts for it even if the board game isn't complete uh, next another sale I was really pleased by um, these Rohan men's trailblazers um, I knew nothing about them when I picked them up I just picked them up there because they were a pound in a uh, YMCA store in Wrexham which is now sadly closed uh, I discovered today and I'm not sure if it's reopened somewhere else or, or what's going on there because there's no signage to indicate but yeah anyway uh, this cost me a pound I grabbed them um, purely because they looked in decent condition they felt good quality I didn't even look them up and I got home and I could see that they were selling for anything between £25 and £35. Pounds. So I listed these for £34.99 at the top end. So I always aim for the top end first. Had them on for a couple of cycles. Lots of watches. Um, but no bids or offers. Um, so I bought them down to £29.99. Didn't sell. Um, Relisted them for £29.99 again. Um, because in the next cycle I was going to bring them down to £25. But I always try and give it two cycles at high price at top end two cycles at mid price and then two cycles at the lower end um, and i'll keep it at the lower end then but yeah anyway this um this sold on a second cycle cycle second cycle at the mid range for 29.99 so one pound into 30 and um, costs about just under three pounds to ship and uh, so i made a good sort of over 20 pounds profit i know so definitely worth, worth looking out for these for our men's trailblazers like i say it closed for some reason seems to hang around for ages for me but they do um they do all sell in the end and uh, yeah a really good um return there so really pleased with that next this item is a bit of a fail for me um i live in wales um i picked this up in our local charity shop it was in the men's clothing section uh, and it was only a pound um, in my favourite charity shop so I thought for a pound you know it's an official Reebok uh, Welsh shirt I knew there was a market for these uh, but got home and discovered that actually it wasn't um, a men's one it was a boys um, one from 2006 so that sort of uh, negatively impacted the value a bit um, so I listed it for 11.99 it would have gone for about 15 pounds um, or maybe slightly more for a uh, if it had been a sort of full-size adult one but yeah I listed it for 11.99 um, had it listed for quite a while 
and, and then eventually somebody made me an offer of seven pounds i'd forgotten i had free shipping on it so i accepted the offer and then i realized that after i accepted it i got free free shipping on so i sort of wrapped it very carefully i managed to get it into a poly up in large letter size which was an advantage of it being a, a, a sort of a child's top so it only cost me i think it cost less than two pounds to post it so i made about three four pounds profit on the on this on the end but i was quite lucky to do that if i'd sent it through my hermes it's uh, it the profit would have been there on a lot less but yeah pleased to see it go anyway and you know profits profit so happy with that and then next i've included this just purely as something to look out for if you get it cheap because this cost me 50p it's a promotional version of the um top trumps law that are the rings to terrace set because there is a normal one in the sort of sanded top trumps case um but but this is in a sort of as you can see there i've even put i've even got the picture or the wrong there but yeah this is for promotional use only uh, that was supposed to be the first picture but for some reason that is um but anyway yeah um picked this up with charity shop for 50p um just came across it in a bag of charity stuff shop stuff that we lying around the house for a bit so i thought Listics is dead easy to, to list and photograph. Um, and yeah, it sold within um, 48 hours of being listed for 5 99 So, you know, free shipping, but it cost again about 80p to send it through Royal Mail because it's small, it's lightweight. So 50p plus £1, take off your fees as well. It's, a, it's about £3 profit on it. So please to get that. Quick profit, quick return. Um, because the, these are rare and they're still very collectible as you say it does sell quickly anyway that's everything i've got to show you had some other sales but um they're, they're nothing to write home about it's just sort of bread and butter stuff uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video if you have please give it a like please feel free to share it and if you've not yet subscribed to my uh, youtube channel then uh, i'd be fantastic if you did uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon.